Hello, my name is Don Butcher. I'm the Athletic Director at Spectrum Community School, also a teacher. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video about the transformative project that is the Spectrum Turf. Uh, it's a great project that engages many different stakeholders, nonprofits, indigenous groups. So we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'll jump right into the presentation. So the Spectrum Turf Project, transformative community project, benefiting youth and adult sport, but also benefiting nonprofits, indigenous groups. Uh, if you want more information on the uh, STAR Project, um, you can check out starproject.ca. Um, of course, a uh, major stakeholder in it is the Vancouver Island Soccer League. And, uh, you know, along with other community associations, we've been around the table for almost four years now. So uh, it's a well-developed plan that we have. We're making headway. We're very close and we hope we can count on your support. So the thought is to design, plan and, and build two turfs. Uh, as you can see here, we have Burnside and Marigold. Uh, and the school is here. So essentially we turn an unusable field into a, a great community asset uh, to benefit obvi obviously the school, but also the community at large. And it is our, our thought that initially we may have to have that phased approach where we build uh, the one turf first, we design everything, plan everything, build the one turf first, and then bring in the, uh, the, the second turf later on, which is a little bit smaller, as you can see. And uh, in terms of costs, uh, they are the costs that uh, we anticipate. This, these are based, uh, our accountant uh, made this financial plan and, and, and essentially it's based on previous projects. It includes escalation as well. Um, but uh, what's wonderful about this is it was very, very close uh, to the to covering the phase one costs. So essentially we've been working with McElhaney Engineering. They're, they're, they've come in and they're working for free essentially for us, which is great. So those planning, design and engineering costs have been brought to zero. So we only need about 400,000 ish and uh, we have the phase one turf happening, which is absolutely outstanding. As we said before, um, we, we are looking at uh, the second field as well, and it might be in that phased approach. So anything we can do to reduce um, these costs um, and, and bring those down, essentially bring us closer to, to the, the one or two turfs. And, um, and so we're really hoping that you can help us with the excavation, the, the field drainage, the gravel bases, the concrete work, all that good stuff that will allow this uh, project to, to, to take flight. And, and as I said before, it's all going to be planned, designed, hopefully built together. But if not, we've got that phased approach. Uh, and ultimately, it's going to benefit those, uh, th those people in our society that are most vulnerable. Why? Well, Kids Sport Greater Victoria is involved. And it is our thought that our coaches and, and kids at Spectrum will be running Kids Sport Greater Victoria uh, camps, low cost recovery camps, or, or even free um, camps for the kids. Uh, and so um, Essentially, it's going to really benefit those most vulnerable in a challenging demographic in our surrounding communities, but really open to uh, Greater Victoria at large. And so it, it, we're going to create kind of this community center. As athletic director, I'm not too concerned with provincial banners, but I am concerned about how we benefit our community. And that really is the focus of this project for me. Um, so as I said, we're going to try and reach those most vulnerable. We're going to lift uh, these kids, hopefully, uh, out, out of poverty. I see it on a daily basis as a PE teacher, uh, as, a, as a social studies and English teacher. I, I see kids, and sometimes this behavior we see in the classroom is directly related to their, their, uh, their socioeconomic challenges. And so uh, for us, this is a win-win partnership in that we um, get to benefit kids sport and that profits are going back to them. As well, as you know, uh, truth and reconciliation and the calls to action uh, are so important. You know, we, we, the discoveries at Kamloops and across Canada about these, uh, these graves and, and the terrible things that went on at, uh, um, you know, some of these residential schools. So it really is the hope that we address some of the truth and reconciliations calls to action, specifically number seven, 
number 88 and 89, which deal with kind of health and wellness and access to facilities for indigenous people. So the Songhees Nation uh, are a partner in this project. They support the project. We're hoping to get them uh, more involved. We got upcoming meetings with them. Uh, but uh, even before uh, what's, what happened in Kamloops there, we've been actively engaged with our indigenous partners. We see them as a big stakeholder on this and, and that our school is on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen speaking peoples, the Coast Salish peoples. Um, so they are firmly aboard with us. We've got letters of support and all of that. As well, we have the Native Indian Football Association, the NIFA. So they represent Canada at the World Indigenous Games. They've won gold medals, I think, in 2015 and 2017. So they'll be involved uh, with the project as well. They'll be running their camps for youth and also uh, um, their high performance camps for those, those young adults. And as well, we've got uh, Alex Nelson, who's an elder in in, uh, in our community. He's, he's the T-Birds, the Thunderbirds Youth Soccer Group, and they'll be getting some time on the turf as well, which is fantastic. So really, we this project aims to build bridges uh, to bring us together in the community to make a better future, which is so important, as you well know. As well, we've got um, kind of these financial partners. We've got the Vancouver Island Soccer League, which represents about 2,000 players all over Vancouver Island. Um, so that, that, that uh, you know, this stakeholder, the VISL, is a, is a major stakeholder. Um, they've got board permission to borrow money. They've been saving money. Um, and also they're, they're just actively involved in, in trying to make this a reality. Uh, Gorge Soccer Association has around 1,000 members. They've been involved since day one uh, with our planning and, and committee groups. And as well, we have West Castle United, which runs, uh, um, you know, youth and adult teams in our community. Uh, but as I said before, um, it, it's not only about soccer. This is about the community at large. And the, and the thought is, if we build this, the two turfs, we really get to benefit every sport. But these are the major financial stakeholders currently. We need you. This project doesn't happen without you. And so we can honor your uh, contribution, commitment to this project. Um, you know, obviously we're going to have signage at uh, the clubhouse, uh, at the field, uh, and also uh, we're going to be honoring it in the websites as well. Um, you know, the VISL has a tremendous uh, reach in that it, uh, you know, it really reaches to the community at large, is active uh, on social media. So there will be that recognition uh, and also at our school through our, uh, our websites for, for the turf as well. Okay, so, you know, your brand will be out there, no doubt. And, uh, you know, the more that you can um, donate, the, the, the bigger the, the logo on, on all that signage. So we, we hope that you get involved with that. Any questions, contact me, Don Butcher, teacher at Spectrum, 250-415-9580. That's my personal cell, and there is my email too. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video today, uh, and we hope to get you involved. Take care. All the best.